Hey guys, today I'm going to share a turn 2 combo in Modern which can win you the game. And before we get too much into it, I'm going to say I'm positive this combo works. I will try to explain it as best as possible. But yes, this combo works and this deck does exist. So you're going to need a Birds of Paradise or a Noble Hierarch. And you're going to need a Fetch Land, you're going to need a Stomping Ground because on turn 2, you need double red and one other source of color. A stopping ground into birds or into noble hierarch is more than enough. You're going to play the Kari, Ka, Kari Zev's expertise, which is one in double red. You need a bird and you need a noble hierarch because you have to gain control of target creature or vehicle. So you need a creature or vehicle on either your side of the playing field or your opponent's side. Now, it is possible your opponent does not have a creature or vehicle this early on. But it also is possible that they might have some type of blocker, although it's not actually going to help. So this is pretty good if you have a Birds or a Noble Hierarch because you can target your own creature. You may cast a card or convert a mana cost 2 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. You are going to cast Breaking and Entering on Fuse. And you're going to hopefully put in Emiko or Grizzlebrand, something good. Emiko is the ideal card. So Breaking means target player puts the top 8 cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Entering reads, put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It gains haste until end of turn. You're going to pay the fuse cost because it's going to look at breaking. It's going to say, okay, that costs 2, so I'm going to allow you to pay the fuse cost, which allows you to have both effects. So you're going to do breaking on yourself, hopefully put in an emical, and then you're going to enter entering. Now, a lot of you might ask, hey, Emiko has the last line says if it's put in a graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles his or her library into her gra his or her graveyard. That does not actually work that way. Because you're using expertise to cast breaking entering fuse, that's the key word here, as your free spell, the Adrazi trigger can't go on the stack between, between breaking and entering because it's a single spell when fused. Again, I'm going to repeat that. Because you're using expertise to cast breaking and entering fused as one spell, the emical trigger cannot go onto the stack between the breaking and entering. Uh, very much similar to how boom and bust works with goblin dark dwellers. You can choose both sides and nothing can go on the stack when it is resolving. So in this case, Emiko's trigger does not go on the stack. Again, crazy, crazy card, uh, crazy combo. It is a turn two win. Uh, if you want a update on how Fuse works, essentially we have done it in a brain in a jar. Cascade is kind of the same thing. It's only going to look at one half. It's going to check one half is less than two. It's going to say, okay, that's fine. And then you're going to be able to pay, play both parts of it and get out your Emiko. So this combo does work. Um, it is a 100% works. It's just a matter of getting lucky a little bit, but it is a turn to win. Fascinating combo and it's pretty brutal. So it probably will be a modern combo at some point, maybe a tier two deck. And maybe someone give me a deck list of this combo in action. I read an article at MTG GoFist, and this is where I got the combo from. But at the same time, it had a very strange deck list that I don't feel like is too optimized. Anyway, a turn two combo in modern is more is faster than a turn four combo, and we know turn four combos are banned or not allowed. Uh, typically, they want you to play more than turn four. So to see a turn two combo kill, even though it's kind of difficult, it's interesting. I like it a ton. Uh, leave me a comment below if you guys are excited for this combo or if you still don't believe it works. Anyway, bye guys.